So this looks like quite a simple uh, demo uh, thing that you've got here. Can you explain a bit more about what it is and what it shows? Absolutely. This is uh, really easy to do. Um, this is just four four millimeter sockets uh, mounted on a piece of old heat proof mat. Yeah. And at the top, we've got uh, a length of copper wire, um, about 10 centimeters or so. And on the lower pair, we've got uh, an identical, pretty much, piece of iron. And what kind of, wire. Sort, of uh, sort of width wire is that? Um, about uh, a fifth of a millimeter, so about 30 something uh, SWG, though to be honest, it doesn't actually matter what you do. Uh, okay. A bit of trial and error to find something that works. So we've basically got low resistance better. wire at the top and exactly. a higher resistance at the bottom. Exactly. And what we're gonna do is connect them to the same power supply. But first, we're gonna connect the two wires in series. Like that. Yeah, so the wire is sort of going in here. Yep. Along there, yep. along there, along there, and then back in. So, yeah, that's exactly all the right. And then we switch on and turn up the power supply. And what we're looking for is which wire glows first in this setup. I think that's pretty obvious. Careful, which one. Not, <laughs> <laughs> careful not to go too far, it's very easy to melt through the oh, wires. Yeah, um, yeah. But you can see quite clearly that the iron wire is glowing before the copper wire does, despite the fact that they're in series. So, in that setup, the high resistance wire glowed first. Now, if we reconnect the wires, but this time so that they're in parallel, so hopefully that's nice and clear that they are definitely in parallel. Yep. And turn up now. And it's the copper. And this time, whoops, <laughs> actually that was quite interesting. The copper wire actually ended up melting through. So I think it's um, definitely clear that the copper it, wire was the one that uh, sort of um, heated up first. Definitely did glow uh, first. And all that's changed is that this time around the wires are in parallel, not series. So why is that? Well, now at this point, do you want to do an edit? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've uh, just put a new bit of copper wire in there, uh, and it's now wired up in series. So why does the, uh, the high resistance, the iron, uh, glow first? In, this, in both situations, which one glows first is all down to how much power is being dumped into the wire, each wire, by the power supply. Yep. The power is V times I, uh, and the other two equations that you probably know are I squared R and V squared over R. Now you've got to be really careful with P is I squared R and P is V squared over R because on the face of it, it might look like one of them is telling you that power is proportional to resistance, P is I squared R, if I is constant, P is proportional to resistance, and the other one seems to be telling you the exact opposite, P is V squared over R. It might look like it's inversely proportional, and that's true, but only if V is constant. And in series and parallel, you've got current being constant in series and potential difference being constant in parallel. And that makes all the difference in the world, as this demo shows. Okay. So, this is series. This is, we've wired it back in series again. In this situation, the current is the same in both wire. Must be, because they're in series. So that's Kirchhoff's law? So uh, that's, law. Uh, yeah, you can explain it using Kirchhoff's law as well. Um, so if current is the same everywhere, that means that it's valid to apply P being proportional to R. So therefore, the higher resistance will have more power developed in it and it will therefore glow first. The iron has higher power, sorry, has higher resistance, so therefore its power is greater. So I guess we can also think about how that, uh, the EMF is shared between the two uh, components, so the, the potential difference, if that's got a higher resistance, that's gonna have a greater share of the potential difference. Yeah, And therefore absolutely. B is gonna be bigger, and if I is the same for both, then that means the power yep. being equal to IV must, must be bigger, so more energies uh, coming out per second. Yeah, absolutely, you can explain it that way, it's just as valid. And then if we rewire it in parallel, now, because we've got the junctions in the wire. Yeah. Just do that the other way around. There. It's the same thing, isn't it? It is. Now we've got junctions in the wire. Yeah. The current can split, also mm -hmm. cut off one, when it gets to the junctions. So the current now does not have to be the same. And in fact, because the resistances in each branch are different, they absolutely will not be the same. This will now have less current going through it, and this will have more current going through it. And uh, the potential difference across each loop will be the same? Of course, it must be, catch off too. Um, so in this case, you can explain it either as the higher resistance will take less current so it won't glow, the lower resistance will get more current so it will glow first, or if you prefer, you can say now you're in parallel, you know that the V across there, the potential difference across there, will be the same as it is across there, it has to be in parallel, mm -hmm. because of Kirchhoff 2. 
Uh, so now in this case, because v is constant, it's valid to say that p is v squared over r suggests that because v is constant, p will be inversely proportional to r, not proportional like it was when they were in series. So if p is now inversely proportional to r, that means the lower resistance will have a greater power developed in it, so that one will glow first. So in parallel... The copper very definitely glows first. Another nice little total, uh, totally irrelevant to this discussion, but another nice thing that you might have spotted as, uh, as I increased the current um, was the fact that the wire uh, was clearly expanding and it was becoming less slack uh, between, the, um, uh, between the posts. So at the moment it's relatively tight between there because I've just connected it, but as I heat it up, even before it starts to glow, you can see it moves just a little bit. There's definitely some movement there. Because it's expanding as yeah. it gets hotter and then eventually it glows. So definitely in parallel, lower resistance, higher power. In series, the exact opposite. Easy to get confused, but you just need to ask yourself what's constant in this situation.